sometimes why We're special alphabet letters Please sing and don't be shy We're the vowels A-E-I-O-U and sometimes why Come and learn the vowel song You can remember if you try My name is A The first vowel you will say In the lineup of the vowel song You're learning today I make different sounds Depending who I am with From my alphabet letter Friends please listen to this in the word cat, I make the sound a, ah, but I make the sound a when I'm in the word eight. And when I'm using caught, I make the sound ah. Now sing along with me to the three sounds you just saw. A, ah, as in cat. A, as in eight. Ah, as in caught. These are the basic sounds of the letter A, Todd. We're the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. We're special alphabet letters, please sing and don't be shy. We're the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Come and learn the vowel song you can remember if you try. I am the letter E, the second vowel you see. Listen to the sounds I make and sing along with me. When I'm using me, I make the sound E And when I'm using bed, I make the sound E Try it, E As in me E As in bed Hi, my name is I I am a real fun guy I'm the third vowel, you'll learn about me if you try When I'm using igloo, I sound like E and when I'm using I scream, I sound like I. Let's try it. I, like an igloo. I, like an I scream. We're the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. We're special alphabet letters, please sing and don't be shy. We're the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Come and learn the vowel song you can remember if you try. Hello, I'm letter. Sounds, let me show you a few. I sound like a, uh, like an umbrella, and I sound like you, like an unicorn. I also sound like ooh, like when you say fruit. I make the sound ooh, like when you say glue. Uh, like umbrella, and you, like unicorn. Sometimes why we're special alphabet letters, please sing and don't be shy. We're the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes why come and learn the vowel song you can remember if you try. I'm the letter Y, a special letter you'll learn, because I also make vowel sounds when given the turn. I sound like an E when I'm used in happy, and I sound like an I when I'm used in the word cry. Try it. Like in happy And I Like in cry We're the vowels A, E, I, O, U And sometimes Y We're special alphabet letters Please sing and don't be shy We're the vowels A, E, I, O, U And sometimes Y Come and learn the vowel song You can remember if you try We're the vowels A, E, I, O, U And sometimes Y We're special alphabet letters Please sing and don't be shy We're the vowels A, E, I, O, U And sometimes why Come and learn the vowel song You can remember if you try Shop our new store merch And get custom birthday videos With your favorite characters Let's learn the consonant 
21 letters of the alphabet you won't forget Let's learn the consonants We can be combined with the vowel to form a syllable without breaking a sweat B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P Q, R, S, T, P, W, X, Y, Z The consonants are letters of the alphabet Except for A, E, I, O, U Let us introduce ourselves so you know just who it is you are talking to I am a B and I make the sound like in the word ball sound I'm using the word car and in cat I'm the letter D and I make the sound my sound is found in dinosaur and in dog I'm the letter F I make the sound you'll use me in fish and in frog hello I'm a G I make the sound like in the word
I am one The first number of one The first number of one The first number Let's go to number two I am two The second number of two The second number of two The second number Let's go to number three I am three The third number of three The third number of three The third number Let's go to number four I am I am five, the fifth number of five, the fifth number of five, the fifth number, let's go to number six. I am six, the sixth number of six, the sixth number of six, the sixth number, let's go to number seven. I am seven, the seventh number I'm seven, the seventh number I'm seven, the seventh number, let's go to number eight. I am eight, the eighth number I'm eight. The eighth number of eight The eighth number Let's go to number nine I am nine The ninth number of nine The ninth number of nine The ninth number Let's go to number ten I am ten, the tenth number of ten, the tenth number of ten, tenth number, let's sing it all again. I am one, the first number of one, the first number of one, the first number Number. Let's go to number two. I am two, the second number of two, the second number of two, the second number. Let's go to number three. I am three, the third number. I am four, the fourth number of four, the fourth number of four, the fourth number, let's go to number five. I am five, the fifth number of five, the fifth number of five. Let's go to number six. I am six, the sixth number of six, the sixth number of six, the sixth number. Let's go to number seven. I am seven, the seventh number of seven. The seventh number of seven, the seventh number.
let's go to number eight. I am eight, the eighth number I'm eight, the eighth number I'm eight, the eighth number, let's go to number nine. I am nine, the ninth number I'm nine, the ninth number I'm nine, the ninth number, let's go to number ten. I am ten, the tenth number I'm ten, the tenth number I'm ten, the tenth number, the number songs come to an end. Our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am a teacher and this is my mission. You're here to add some knowledge you need to succeed and thrive. It's a teacher and this is how it's spelled. This is the process of adding something to something else. I am an addition symbol, which you'll use to add. I'm kind of shaped like a cross, and that's pretty rad. You can add anything to another thing with me. Just take two objects, put me in the middle, and see. But before we get started, there's someone you have to meet. It's my friend, the equal symbol. He's a math athlete. I am the equal symbol, you'll find me to the right of any math equation I bring the final amount in sight I work with any math symbol to get the answer you need Let us show you how we help each other to succeed I am addition and this is my mission You're here to add some knowledge you need to succeed and thrive It's addition and this is how it's spelled this is the process of adding something to something else We'll start adding something simple to see what we can equal This is one panther, but if you want to, you'll add one more as well Then I take the panthers, which now equal to That's the number I produce now that this equation is through Here are two babies, and when I add two more I equal the total number of babies, which is four I am addition you're here to add some knowledge you need to succeed and thrive It's addition and this is how it's spelled This is the process of adding something to something else And if you have five ice creams and you add five more It will equal ten ice creams, that's twice as many as before And here I have three elephants and when I add one other I equal them together, which is four I assure you can add anything you want to anything else When you have an addition and equal symbol to help When you have the number 5 and you also want to add 2 The final number equals 7, this equation is through And if you had a 3 and wanted to add 3 more You would end up equaling the number 6 out the door I am addition and this is my mission You're here to add some knowledge you need succeed and thrive it's addition and this is how it's spelled this is the process of adding something to something else i'm addition and this is my mission you're here to add some knowledge you need to succeed and thrive it's addition and this is how it's spelled this is the process of adding something to something else I am subtraction, and this is my action. I take a number or an amount away from another with satisfaction. I'm subtraction, and I'll show you what I do. When you have a whole number, I decrease a number size, it's true. I'm a subtraction symbol, and this is how I look. A short horizontal line, you'll find me in any subtraction book. My job's to take away a particular quantity from an amount of anything based on me. I'm opposite of the addition 
addition symbol which is used to add So when you have too much of something just subtract you'll feel glad But before we move on to a subtraction equation The equal symbols introduction will complete our calculation Satisfaction. I'm subtraction, and I'll show you what I do when you have a whole number. I decrease that number size, it's true. Here we will go through some examples of what I do. I will team up with the equal symbol so we can show you. Here we have five T-Rexes, as you can plainly see. But if you subtract two, the final amount equals three. But if you have six macaws, but you only want two, Subtract 4 from 6 to equal to this equation's through. Now if you have 3 gorillas but 2 is all you need You would subtract 1 from 3 to equal 2 Now let's proceed Here's 2 orangutan but 1 is what you'd like Just subtract 1 from 2 which equals 1 orangutan in sight I am subtraction and this is my action I take a number or an amount away from another with satisfaction I'm subtraction I'll show you what I do when you have a whole number I decrease that number size, it's true You can subtract anything with the subtraction An equal symbol Here's some examples with numbers We'll try to keep it real simple So if you have the number 10 but want half of that You would subtract 5 from 10 to equal 5, that's a fact And when you have an 8 and subtract 3 from it It equals the number 5, I hope you're understanding this but when you have 11 and you take away 5 The number that it equals is 6 Remember this and thrive Now go take this lesson That you had just learned And subtract any amount from something else without concern I am subtraction And this is my action I take a number or an amount away from another with satisfaction I'm subtraction And I'll show you what I do when you have a whole number it's true. I am subtraction, and this is my action. I take a number or an amount away from another with satisfaction. I'm subtraction, and I'll show you what I do when you have a whole number. I decrease that number size. It's true. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. The multiplication table Remember me because you're able We'll learn to multiply 1 through 10 Up to 100 because you can Let's start by learning how the times table works Because learning to multiply is one of life's perks You see that vertical line, it's numbered 1 through 10 And that horizontal line is numbered the same again all the numbers on the inside we will cover next They're the answers to the equations you will see in text For example, if you look at the number 2 And you want to multiply it by 7, here's what you'll do Let's use this 2 from the vertical side And multiply it with the 7 on the horizontal guide Run a line from the 2 if you know what I mean And a line from the 7 down to see where they meet where the two lines collide will be the answer you seek 2 times 7 equals 14 this equation is complete you can also use the horizontal number 2 and the vertical 7 to achieve the same results it's true now let's try to multiply 
is 36 and 7 times 7 is 49 8 times 8 is 64 Now I know you're feeling fine 9 times 9 equals 81 Yeah, that is what I said And 10 times 10 equals 100 You can see here in red You can move across or down And multiply each number on its own Let's try a couple out Then you can continue at home Multiplying by 1 Yeah, it is so easy You always end up with the same number multiply by you see 1 times 1 equals 1 and 2 times 1 is 2 and 3 times 1 equals 3 now you practice 2 move to 2 and count straight across 2 4 6 8 10 start over if you're lost row 14 16 18 and 20 let's try one more row start at the number 3 3 6 9 12 15 and 18 21 24 27 and Stable sheet from KLT site and practice multiplying till you get it right. I am the multiplication table. Remember me because you're able. We'll learn to multiply one through ten up to one hundred because you can. When you multiply any number by one, it always equals. The same number is when you begun. When you multiply any number by one, it always equals the same number. Let's work an equation. This multiplication table will help see us through. When we multiply one by all the numbers up to ten, it is true. This time symbol will separate each number multiplied. The equal symbol will give us the total on its right side. When you take a 1 and multiply it by a 1 It equals 1 the same number as it had begun 1 times 2 equals the number 2 And 1 times 3 equals 3 you see 1 times 4 equals the number 4 And 1 times 5 equals 5 here live And 1 times 6 equals the number 6 1 times 7 equals itself 7 1 times 8 equals 8 cause it's great And 1 times 9 equals 9 it's so fine 1 times 10 does equal 10 and here we go, let's multiply one again When you take a one and multiply it by a one It equals one the same number as it had begun One times two equals the number two And one times three equals three, you see One times four equals the number four and 1 times 5 equals 5 here live And 1 times 6 equals the number 6 1 times 7 equals itself 7 1 times 8 equals 8 cause it's great And 1 times 9 equals 9 it's so fine 1 times 10 does equal 10 and here we go, let's multiply one again When you multiply any number by one It always equals the same number as when you begun When you multiply any number by one It always equals the same number Let's work an equation When you multiply any number by one It always equals the same number as when you begun when you multiply any number by one It always equals the same number Let's work an equation Shop our new store merch And get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters Let's multiply by two All the way up to ten We'll multiply by two, then we'll do it again. When we multiply by two, you'll use a time table. It's a fun, easy way to learn because you're able. Let's count by twos and we'll make it rhyme. Then you'll find multiplication.
vacation is a good time. Two, four, six, eight. We just multiplied one through four. I hope you feel great. 10, 12, 14, 16 are the next batch of numbers that we sing. 18 and 20 is where we will end when we're multiplying by two up to 10. Anytime you do multiply any number by two, you just double that number and the equation is through. For example, two times one does equal two. And two times two equals four, this is true. Two times three does equal six. And two times four equals eight in this mix. Two times five will always equal 10. And two times six equals 12 here and then. Two times seven does equal 14. And two times eight equals 16 on the scene. Two times nine equals 18. And two times 10 equals 20 again. Now sing with me two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, you're doing great. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. When multiplying by one through ten, this is plenty. Two times one does equal two. And two times two equals four, this is true. Two times three does equal six. And two times four equals eight in this mix. Two times five will always equal 10. And two times six equals 12 here and then. Two times seven does equal 14. And two times eight equals 16 on the scene. 2 times 9 equals 18 and 2 times 10 equals 20 again Let's multiply by 2 all the way up to 10 We'll multiply by 2 then we'll do it again When we multiply by 2 you'll use a time table It's a fun easy way to learn because you're able Let's multiply one through 10. We'll be smarter by the end and then we can start over again. Let's multiply one through 10. Math is so easy when you focus. Let's understand how numbers blend. Let's start by counting by one. Here we go now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Sometime we'll do that again. Now let's move on and count by two. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You're doing well. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. That's plenty. This is what you see when counting by three. Here we go. Three, six, nine, twelve. 15, you're counting up on the screen. 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. Multiplication is a dream. Now we'll be counting by four. Go, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40 makes 10, that's plenty. One of my favorites is counting by five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Great work, you are busy. Not in the mix, now we're counting by six. Six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. When you're counting by six, sing along with me. 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. When multiplying through 10, that's all you'll see. 
We're here, good heavens, let's count by seven. Seven, 14, 21, 28, and 35. You're doing great, let's keep this live. 42, 49, 56, 63, and 70. You're beginning to thrive. This is great, we're counting by eight. 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and 80, you're doing fine, we're counting by 9, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, in the mix, 72, 81, and 90, we're not through, now 9 is behind me, we are at the end because we're counting by 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. The multiplication table is what you completed. Let's multiply 1 through 10. We'll be smarter by the end and then we can start over again. Let's multiply 1 through 10. Math is so easy when you focus, let's understand how numbers blend. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Let's take some action and we can learn about fractions. We'll learn a part of math attraction When we learn about fractions You use them every day Hi, I'm a pizza, I'm here to teach you about fractions Listen to what I teach you and you'll feel satisfaction Let's look at this pizza, it's a hundred percent whole There are no pieces missing, boy, are we on a roll? If I slice this pizza into eight pieces or parts it is still one old pizza until we take some apart. I'll remove seven slices and place the number one here. The one represents the remaining slice over there. The top number is called the numerator. You see, it's the amount of slices that remain, you'll agree. The bottom number is the denominator still, which is the total parts in the whole pizza when it was first filled. One eighth of this pizza is left because we still have one slice Out of the eight we started with, fractions are out of sight If I have eight pieces of pizza and eat all but two Two eighths of the pizza remains, we started with eight and now I have two When you have eight pieces and you eat all but three when you're done You have the fraction of three eighths, that's the remaining sum how do we get one half when looking at a whole pizza here? If you take away half, one half is what's left I do share. This can also be four eighths because of how the pizza slice. Four pieces are left from the eight we had before we took a bite. And what is one quarter from one whole? When we take away six pizzas of pizza, two slices remain in full. We have one quarter left out of the four quarters when we begun. This is what one quarter looks like in this fraction when you're done when we want three quarters from this whole pizza you see we take away one quarter out of four three quarters there will be i'll show you some examples of what we had just learned and let's see if you can guess them before i say the answer each turn here's a fraction starting with nine pieces as a whole when two pieces are removed how many pieces are left in full let's count there are seven from nine pieces that we started with Seven ninths is a fraction that remains from when we started this We'll start with one circle as a whole then take half away We are now left with one half in this fraction today This block has seven pieces and you take away three Four sevenths is the fraction of this block now you see So when you have a whole object and slice it up in equal parts And remove slices from the whole what's left's a fractional part Let's take some action and we can learn about fractions We'll learn a part of math attraction When we learn about fractions You use them every day
Let's make a decision to learn about division. We'll split numbers into equal groups or parts equally. Now try to envision the importance of division. We'll count how many times one value is contained in another. It is key. Welcome to your division lesson. I'm a division sign. You know a short horizontal line with a dot above and another dot below. You can find me between two numbers that will attempt to divide. But before we start an equation, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. I'm the equal sign made up of two parallel horizontal lines. I indicate equality of two expressions on each side of my sign. Together we find how many times one value is contained in another you'll see. Let's look at our first equation. Division's amazing, you'll agree. Let's take this 15 and divide it by 3. How many times can the 3 go into 15? Let's find out and see. Let's make 3 circles that represent the 3 and add a single dot in each until we reach the number 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there is more. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you're doing well. Now that we have reached the total number of 15 dots, you can count the dots in one circle to get the answer we have sought. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5 is the amount of times 3 can go into 15 after we divide. The number of dots in one circle when we split 15 into 3. 5 is the amount of times 3 goes into 15 equally. You're doing great, let's move on to the next equation. After you learn to divide any number, you'll be a math sensation. Let's take this 14 and divide it by 2. Let's see how many times 2 fits into 14 and then we will be through. Let's make two circles that will represent the two. Then add a single dot in each until we reach the number 14 true. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You're doing great. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Your counting is really swell. Now that we've counted 14 dots within the two circles we drew, let's count how many dots are in one circle to see how many we accrue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 7 is the answer that we're looking for in this equation. This tells me 2 goes into 14 7 times. This is how you do basic division. Now pick two numbers and divide. Watch this division video over again until you can divide any number then go show your friends let's make a decision to learn about division we'll split numbers into equal groups or parts equally now try to envision the importance of division we'll count how many times one value is contained in another it is key Thanks for watching KLT. Please subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and check out the KLT merch store.